What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have WWE Action Figure Surgery episode number 10. So in today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys, we do have, uh, as you guys can see, we have two packs of the Epic Moments 3-pack Undisputed Era. We have Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish, and then we have Adam Cole, Kyle O'Reilly, and Bobby Fish. And the reason I did that, and the reason I have two of them, is because I got in on that Cyber Monday or Black Friday sale that they, were go they had going on on WWEshop.com. They had the Undisputed Era $37 shipped to your door with free shipping. So I was like, uh, yeah, bro, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cash in my money in the bank briefcase on that. It's, it's order and the doctor's out of the ring. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. And uh, go ahead and get myself another set. They came in today, and I was like, you know what? We're going to do some fix-ups with them. Um, as you guys know, we already made my Bullet Club Adam Cole for the pick fed. Now what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to take my Undisputed Era Adam Cole and we're going to replace the legs on them because they're way too small and actually they screwed up his boots. His One of his ankles is really, really, really loose so I'm going to have to switch the lower legs and boots from uh, my other Adam Cole um, elite legs and we're going to put them onto these thighs because these are bigger. They look way more accurate to me and I think they're the same thighs as I put on my Bullet Club. Um, you know, Vindication one, and I think we're also going to throw some smaller knee pads on that guy, and I think that's all we're going to do with Adam Cole, and then we're going to take uh, one of the Kyle O'Reilly's and switch his bicep with one of the Bobby Fish's so that we can have Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly both one version without the armband and then one version with the armband, so we'll have two sets, and then of course I'm going to put the Undisputed armband on Adam Cole, the, you know, the little rubber one. I'll go ahead and stick that on to the Undisputed Era one. And then, bam, we'll have our uh, armband set of Undisputed Era. We'll have our non-armband Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. And then we'll, of course, have our Bullet Club Vindication pick bed Adam Cole Elite. So I guess the first thing we can do is go ahead and get everything sorted out. And I guess we'll start off with the Undisputed Era Adam Cole. I, don't, I really don't need the Bullet Club one. I just put it in here because you guys, well, I guess we can do a comparison at the end to, you know, see what it looks like between Undisputed Era and Bullet Club. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so starting out with Adam Cole, as you can see here, my freaking little footsie right here is super duper loose. Like, I'm barely even little flapping. Look at that. Look at that right there. That is absolutely just terrible. And I think my other one's much better. Let's see. We'll compare it to this foot. And yeah, look at that. Way tighter, doesn't move, and all that good stuff. So what we're going to do, again, is go ahead and heat up these lower legs and put them onto these thighs. And then we're going to have to, of course, heat up the crotch right here to get these uh, smaller legs off. So I guess we'll go ahead and heat up this, and then um, we can heat up this at the same time. That way, you know, I can just pop these on after these are good. And then I'm going to have to go into the bin, find some good knee pads, and then we'll switch these lower legs onto these thighs. All right, guys, you already know how we do. We got the trusty old white hair dryer and we're gonna go ahead and get started. Alright guys, we'll see if this is good enough. Just gonna go ahead and slide this off. Oh, crapsies. Alright, yeah, we got it there. Then the other thigh. Oh my god, I just burnt my thumb. But, but I'm okay. I'm alright. So we're gonna pop these larger thighs on here if it'll go. Alright, got the one thigh and got the other thigh. So now... Adam Cole is looking better with his thicker thighs. They may be a bit too thick, but let's go ahead and compare them to the Money in the Bank. I'm pretty sure these are the same thigh. I think they're Bo Dallas thighs. Are those the same size? They look they look the same size. So uh, I think Ric Flair thighs or William Regal thighs are probably the most accurate. But this is all I have for now. When I get a William Regal, we'll probably do another action figure surgery episode, you know, to get it the right size. But I like these much better than the small ones. The small ones really drive me insane. It's like freaking AJ Styles and Seth Rollins. They give them those tiny legs, and it's like, come on, Brad, they have muscles? Come on. So now that we got the bigger thighs on there, guys, now we have to heat up. Oh, my God, I forgot which ones are the loosey-goosey ones. All right, these are the good lower legs, I'm pretty sure. All right, yeah, we're going to dispose of these legs because they're loosey-goosey. Put them over there so we don't get them confused. And now all we have to do is heat up these lower legs so that we can uh, put these lower legs over here on these legs. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and pop the boots off that way, or not. Alright, got the boot off that way, I can slide the knee pads off so that they don't block the, uh, you know, block those pegs from getting warmed up. Oh god, that's on fire. Yeah, I'm going to have to reheat that, son of a bitch. All 
All right, we'll see if this is good enough. Got the one shin off and got the other shin off. Gonna have to take that peg though. All right, now we're gonna have to stick this through here. Stick it through the hole. And then try to get this. Is this the right leg? Yeah, it's the right leg. All right, now let's see if we can get this on here. To be honest with you, probably gonna have to reheat it up at the end. Son of a bitch. Actually, I didn't. I actually got it on there. I didn't do it on camera, but it actually went on there pretty easily, um, which is actually pretty freaking surprising. But now we got to get the left leg on there, and I don't think we had as, as as much luck as we did on the other side, but trying to push that through. I remember when I first started part swapping, guys, this was so hard for me to do to get these pegs in there. Now I can kind of do it um, with ease, but... Of course, when I say that, I don't get it in there. So, we're going to have to reheat it, and then um, I'll show you guys the end result so we don't have to keep heating up on camera. All right, guys, I got the lower legs on there, and now I have my black knee pads that I found in my fodder bin. And now all we have to do is heat up these Undisputed Era boots and put them back on the larger legs. All right, guys, now what we're going to do is take our knee pads, slide them onto the uh, new legs of Adam Cole. Got the left leg, now I'm working on the right. And now the boot should just pop on. Left leg, no, right leg, now left leg, and boom. So now Adam Cole is all fixed up, and we're gonna take a look at him at the end with the rest of Undisputed Era. Now what we're gonna do is move on to Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly. So for these two men, guys, like I was saying, we're gonna be doing a bicep swap between the right upper arm. As you can see here, there's the Undisputed Era armband, and uh, Bobby Fish does not have one, so I have the extra Kyle O'Reilly. So we're gonna switch this over here, and then we'll end up with a blanked arm Kyle O'Reilly, and then an armband Bobby Fish. That way we will have a full set of Undisputed Era without the armbands, and then we'll have a full set with the armbands. So it'll be perfect. And uh, let's go ahead and get this swappage going. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see if that is good enough. Go ahead and pop Kyle O'Reilly's arm off. Pop off Bobby Fish's arm. If we can get it off here. Alright, we got both of their arms off. Now we got to go ahead and separate at the forearm right here. As you guys will see, if you guys have never seen this before, this is how it's done. Um, you pop that out, you don't want to lose that peg though. So there's the lower arm of Bobby Fish. And then we're going to be popping the Kyle O'Reilly arm. Uh, pop it off at the elbow as well. Alright, so now we're going to be connecting this lower arm to that upper arm and this lower arm to this upper arm. And uh, to do that, we're going to have to reheat everything. So that sucks eggs, but um, it should be relatively easy. Once these are heated up, though, once all that's heated up, it should be able to uh, pop on really easy. And uh, we will be done with our Undisputed Era fix-ups. All right, they keep blowing away. So what I'm going to do is stick them down into this cooler. And um, I honestly don't know how well this is going to work out. It could go horribly wrong or it may work, so let's go ahead and test it. All right guys, we're gonna see if this is gonna work out here. Um, the cooler totally worked though. Um, so we have the Kyle O'Reilly lower arm, and we're gonna see if we can get it over this little bicep or elbow peg right here, and it should just crunch up in there, and bam, just like that. So we have that arm done. Now let's see if Bobby Fishes will go on. Ooh, God, it's freaking hot. Mmm. And Bamsy. So we got both of them now. We should just be able to pop this onto Bobby Fish. And boom. And then pop this onto Kyle O'Reilly. And boom. And holy Christ, that worked out pretty freaking well. So here's what both men look like after the fix-up, guys. You can see the Bobby Fish looks pretty freaking nice with that Undisputed Era armband on there. Um, let's go ahead and bring in the other... Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly so we can see all of them up next to each other. Now, like I said, we have Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish both in the armband, and then we have Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish not with the armband, so if I want to use them down the road and I don't want them to be in Undisputed Era or I don't want them to have the armband, Bamsies Malamsies, so this is freaking epic sauce. The only thing that I think, you know, would make it even better is if I could get a third Adam Cole and a third Undisputed Era set and then switch the bicep with that Adam Cole, that way they'd all have the painted on armband, but uh, I think it still works out pretty good. Now let's go ahead and take a look at everything we've done here on today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. So here are the results of everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery, guys. Again, on the left here, 
Uh, again, I just think that it's a different armband, so it's kind of ridiculous, but you can see the leg swap there. It looks a whole lot better. I think his height is a lot better now. Um, again, I would like to switch it with William Regal or Ric Flair legs, but I think Adam Cole turned out looking pretty freaking sweet. He does have his Undisputed Era boots back on there, smaller knee pads with the larger legs, and then, of course, his Undisputed armband, and that's the only thing. I get, like, God, it would look so much better. It just looks off because, you know, the logos and everything are different sizes, and it's totally different. But then on this side, we have our Bullet Club Pick Fed Adam Cole Elite. Um, with the Bullet Club t-shirt on there, uh, solid black boots, smaller knee pads, bigger uh, legs on there. Now that I have an Undisputed Era Adam Cole with the appropriate fix-ups and everything, now I can completely customize this Adam Cole for the pick fed. I can put, you know, Bullet Club tights on this guy. I can, you know, do some other crazy and cool stuff with him. So now I can, you know, change up his Undisputed Era attire and actually make it a custom fantasy attire, or I can do one of his Bullet Club attires he used to rock in the indies. Um, but then, of course, we have our Bobby Fish and Kyle O'Reilly without their armbands on there. And I think it turned out pretty freaking nice. It came out exactly like I thought it would. So I think it's a very successful day of surgery for Dr. White and MDT. So that pretty much does it for today's episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. Guys, let me know down in the comment section below what do you think of the fix-ups. Did you guys cash in on that freaking Black Friday deal from WWEshop.com? Um, I also, now that I have, you know, all these freaking Undisputed Era t-shirts, I need to make a Roderick Strong. When we get a Roderick Strong in the NXT Elite set, I will mo make sure that I get, you know, um, some more of those Undisputed Era sets so I can, you know, make a custom Undisputed Era Roddy Strong to throw in here. He's, he's probably one of my favorite wrestlers in NXT. But, um, again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyNamToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.